Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to our topic. I'm Qianggao from Alibaba Cloud, and today I will be together with my colleague Tian Yi, uh, give a lightning talk of Eros. Uh, so, um, due to lightning talk uh, time limited limitation, uh, although we uh, 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 covered as ma as many as possible, but there's one more uh, 40 minutes uh, Linux kernel talk to cover more use case details and roadmap. So join us on April 7th if, if you have more time. So uh, for people who never heard about the Euros, so let me give a brief introduction uh, to Eurofest again. So uh, URFS uh, stands for Enhanced Read-Only File System. This was started from the late 2017. Uh, so formerly available since Linux kernel 5.4. Uh, so, uh, but I, I'd like to say that URFS is just not just another Squash FS or some other in kernel FS. So basically, it, it is aimed at a modern, flexible, high performance. So uh, we, we focus on the high performance block based in kernel in immutable file system. So uh, it is a block based, uh, but not quite a block device based because we support a file, file distribution. And uh, uh, on disk data is uh, straight, uh, strictly block aligned. So uh, uh, we have no extra memory movement or IO amplification. So, uh, as well as we have some uh, DAX model and the direct IO model for uh, uncompressed data. So, uh, more than just uh, uh, another archival format, we leverage most internal possibilities from kernel developer perspective as, ma as much as possible. So, there are uh, some features such as uh, deduplication and uh, compression, as well as deduplication uh, and FSDAX memory sharing uh, uh, between the host and guest and the page cache sharing, etc. So we have some uh, already have some many applications such as OS uh, firmwares. Uh, uh, like Android, because most Android vendors are switching from EX4 to Europe. And we have some uh, container image use cases and the uh, AI model and data sets. Uh, so Eurofest community, uh, so here's our open source community. Currently, we have several maintainers uh, and the reviewers uh, for the internal code base. As you can see, it is a quite open project in, uh, as already involved with many vendors. And uh, Europe is uh, in, integrated into several e ecosystems and uh, most uh, Linux uh, distributions. And uh, recently, we already have the uh, CentOS Stream 9 uh, and maybe a, a real 9.4. So, so we have some uh, board loader, et cetera. And here is our documenting, uh, documentation website. Note that it's still incomplete, and we will go on and finish uh, this website over the time. So why using Europe? Uh, so two, two of the main reasons are security and the simplicity. Uh, so uh, it has re reduced the on-disk metadata complexity so, so that it will have a faster uh, build performance and a smaller overall file system size. So it is easier to, uh, and uh, due to its reduced on-disk metadata, so we can easier to merge several file system uh, uh, to merge file system from several sub sub file systems, and we we have uh, we could split uh, read and write so 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 that it avoids an unnecessary code base uh, code base coupling, uh, so, so that we have less in, intrinsic bug and small attack uh, surface, and uh, we 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 have data temper prevention, so. Uh, so if you look into some uh, more generic FS like ESC4, so many sysboot issues derive from the, uh, such as crafted uh, uh, malicious in, uh, images uh, and uh, less common on disk compatible formats uh, like uh, EXT2, uh, which, which could form EXT2 or, or some less common formats with increasing code decoupling. So, so if we direct mount this file system, we, we could 
may, we could uh, run into uh, trouble. So combined with the bug, uh, extra twisted right paths could challenge the overall stability again. So uh, on the bottom side, this is just a POC of uh, malicious uh, ext 4 file system, uh, which could pa panic the kernel, and uh, which is on the uh, latest CentOS Stream 9. So uh, another reason is the flexibility. So uh, we have we, we have both a native native in kernel driver and our user space uh, implement, implementation. We support uh, we support both uh, block device and file based distribution, uh, and we have a file system size. Uh, 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 dynamic resizing so, so because we just append uh, metadata or data directly. So we, we have on-demand, uh, on-disk format enabling and we, uh, our, our on-disk layout is quite a uh, flexibility so, so we don't have unfixed uh, uh, on-disk layout arrangement. Uh, so next uh, here's an incomplete list of our recent features. So the, our first case is a shared disk among node. Uh, so because our uh, observ uh, observation are that uh, first is pulling uh, all needed layer for you know, each uh, container image stop is, is slow, but uh, mo most underlay, underlay base layer can be publicly available because that this layer maybe just uh, install some common package from the distribution, et cetera. So, and the third, uh, third is the difference between the minor security version are quite minor, uh, are quite small. So, so our ideas uh, are uh, introduce a shared disk image to uh, to store common base layer because that uh, we leverage our cloud shared disk infra infrastructure. So, uh, so uh, because that uh, uh, because that we don't we don't need a P2P or or, or some other technology, uh, and we use Europe's uh, compressed or uncompressed deduplication to minimize image and IOs. Uh, so on the left hand side, this is our original uh, container startup flow. But, uh, but on the right hand side, we use a deduplicate de share cloud disk for the common underlayer layer. And uh, only upper layers are needed to be pulled. And uh, these layers can be uh, pulled together with other ways, such as lazy pulling, or et cetera. Uh, so, so here is the test results of the deduplication between a slightly different minor versions. As you can see, Europe has, uh, can have smaller size compared with uncompressed OCI and even compressed OCI. Uh, Squash app has also have some fragment uh, features, but it, it, uh, it can only uh, deduplicate the tail of the data, so, but we can Dedupe the, the the whole the whole file. So so there are some a slight difference between, and we also use the smaller a uh, compressed unit. Uh, our the second case is the layer granularity FSDAX memory access. You could use a what I O P mem for for container image to in, eliminate guest page size totally. But the problem is. Uh, a snapshot like FSDAX with traditional file system can only do image, uh, image level deduplication conventionally because that uh, uh, if there's a uh, snapshot like uh, FSDAX and memory access, we uh, just uh, just with slight modification, but we, uh, they, they are very different uh, image because that uh, it will use a separate page cache. So, so we, it will, we, on the host, so we, it will have n times extra memory overhead due to minor image update. So it will become a burden uh, if we introduce another 4K bytes a mapping table. Uh, so our solution is Europe uh, supports sub-image merging so because that's, uh, each PMEM memory region can be formed by uh, multiple sub-image. Uh, so multi uh, the, each image is uh, just a uh, Europe file be, so that we can use the page cache directly. So, so each memory region can, can be composed by uh, several, several uh, Europe sub-image so, uh, so that we can, we can reduce uh, 
to we can just do the uh, layer granularity FS DAX memory access. Uh, our last use case is a uh, C pitch cache sharing. So so the problem is uh, uh, the first uh, problem is mo most just like the traditional uh, FS uh, just as uh, above uh, because that uh, the snapshot like. Uh, uh, traditional uh, FS can hardly share page cache on wrong C. Uh, another is the uh, even overlay FS itself cannot share page cache on the same file across the different layer. Uh, so that our solution is uh, currently our uh, Europe has some in, in house patches uh, to support page cache sharing of file of the same data on the uh, wrong C node, but we would like to upstream uh, upstreaming this feature in the near future. So so that on uh, on the on the same node, we we will uh, as long as the file has the same data, we will share the page cache. Uh, so I will I will hand over to my colleague Tianyi for the application part. Thank you. Uh, hey guys, my name's uh, Tianyi Tang from Alibaba Cloud. Sorry for the order time. I, I, I'm going to try to keep as fast as possible. So uh, we're going to cover several use cases of ERFS in our scenario. Uh, since it's the read-only file system, it's pretty kind of native to think of the container image. So we're going to go through like the first use, use case, how we utilize the ERFS in the normal OCI container image. So our solution is, is an out-of-tree snapshotter. You, uh, all you have to do is just to deploy a TARFS snapshotter, which is the remote snapshotter in container D, and a remote differ to uh, unpack the image. And after uh, with this two plugin installed in your runtime environment, uh, you, uh, instead of simply unpacking the TarGZ uh, OCI image, you're going to do, do, uh, do it with the ERFS helper in the kernel, and you're going to provide, an, uh, you, you're going to get an ERFS layer uh, and a loop file, uh, which, which, which will la later be used as a single layers provider for the read-only section of the overlay mount. And uh, th uh, this part of code is already implemented, uh, part of it, and uh, there's a working PR, and uh, we're still working on it, and uh, in the end, you, you don't have to do anything in the registry. You only have to tamper with your runtime environment. And what if you can do a little bit thing to the registry? Uh, then we have a, a better option, which is lazy loading. So, so when you can do some additional stuff in the registry, we can. Uh, our solution is combining the overlay BD with the ERFS to pr to provide a lazy loading ERFS image. So basically, in the registry, instead of st storing only the OCI blob itself, over right here. Uh, instead of storing the, only the OCI uh, blob itself, we're going to store two additional stuff. First is the Turbo OCI indexing, which is going to handle the GZIP indexing and the TAR indexing, similar to the Sochi and uh, the, the, the indexing stuff. And second, we're going we're to have a ERFS meta. And this stuff will be generated when you're pushing the image. And when you're actually running the image, instead of fetching the whole blob, you lazy load and you only fetch the index, uh, the index layer and the ERFS metadata layer uh, as a as a as a as an GZIP format, and you're gonna just simply unpack them normally as the targz and feed this data for the OLBD service. And this OLBD service will provide you with the virtual block, and this block will be used as a read-only section of the overlay mount. And after that, when our and our request come back, the OLBD service will try to look up the corresponding data chunk uh, by the Turbo OCI index and fetch the corresponding data chunk from the registry, which is going to significantly increase your code boot up time. And after, uh, if we skip the runtime section, we go layer, uh, we, we, we go lower into the kernel layer. Uh, Compose CFS also has ERFS as a, as a core component of its, its stuff. So basically, the, re, uh, the benefit benefit we can get from using ERFS is that when you are having multiple images of Compose CFS, and they, even though they have different metadata, and when you're reading the same same file in these two images, we're still using this, using the same copy of the page cache. And 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 in this case, when you have uh, images like the machine learning images, which have a lot of multiple shared libraries of libraries of the same file, uh, the running time will be much better. And if we look at look at the virtualization section, Gvisor also has ERFS embedded. Uh, the, the main reason they use that is to transfer its architecture from a previously RPC-based Gopher, which will try to do other I/O redirection uh, when you're accessing the root of S file system of the containers. Instead, you can just do a virtual map, uh, uh, like architecture of accessing the root of S file system. It's gonna again uh, in increase the boot up time of, of each sandbox, which is significantly useful when you're having a, a deployment of a large-scale containers in the same node. 
And last but not least, uh, for other solutions like the NIDAS for lazy loading, ERFS, ERFS is also used as a solution. All right, uh, so yeah, thank you for your time. That's pretty, pretty much it. Sorry for a little over time. And uh, if you guys are interested, we, uh, if you would come back and talk with us, we're gonna dive deeper in the talk as well in the future. Thank you.